we went to Eileen Collins launches, we blasted NASA and it went all over the country. We were not nice because they deserved it. They had the most pitiful record you have ever seen. At that time, there were 250 people that had flown in space, had flown spacecraft. Out of that number, there was two women, Tereshkova and Eileen. Now that's pretty damn pitiful. <laughs> and, and, they, and they still, they are still They've got that good old boy network. They hate us. <laughs> we give them a really bad time. We're their conscience, and they don't like it. But if we don't keep pushing, the girls are not. Somebody has to keep raising sand about what's happening to the women. Once they get into to the web, once they get into it, if they are taken into the core, they don't dare. They don't dare say anything if they ever want to fly and most of them won't they, they they don't dare criticize NASA if they want to be in the core they don't criticize NASA we're the voice for the women because they don't have a damn thing I want <laughs> I just want to see them give the young women a fair shake I think a woman ought to be allowed to do anything she is physically and mentally able to do I don't think it's right. If we can touch a nerve to help the young girls out, we do, because we think that's that's what we should be doing, is helping the young women that are in the astronaut corps, or the even younger women who want to be in the astronaut corps, to help them get their rightful place. Not because there have to be so many women and so many men, not that way. If they are qualified, if they can do the job better than somebody else. They shouldn't be eliminated because of sex. It's very important that it go forward. All of the new things that we're using, our computers, the microchips, everything that we're using today was brought about for, for space exploration. I'm just disappointed we haven't gone any further than we've gone. I'm disappointed we haven't gone back to the moon. I think we're just dropping the ball all over the place. I realize this takes money. And I realize we have a lot of problems here at home, but this just has to be. We have to do this. We have to go into space. We have to find out what's out there. We have to see if there's something out there that can help us in this old world, the way we're using up our resources. We're gonna have to have some help from somewhere. I'm just really sad that, that the government doesn't feel like they're going to have to give NASA more money. There is, they already have plans for a new shuttle. These shuttles are old, and the, what, the beating they take, they shouldn't even be using them. They should be building new shuttles. Somebody's gonna have to go up there and kick, kick some behinds and say, look, this is our future. We have to do this. We have to do it. We got to make it as safe as we possibly can. And then it's always gonna be chancy. It's just like flying. That's what they used to say in the old flying movies. Oh, you'll be killed. Oh, it's a chance you got to take. Well, it really is. It's the chance you got to take. We were brought up during World War II when women flew our, uh, for the Air Force, when women drove buses, they drove trains, they did, because there weren't any men around. When I was in high school, we didn't have a junior senior prom, they were drafting 17 year old boys. And there weren't any guys around, there weren't any men around. Women did everything. And we thought this was going to continue. And the minute the war was over, they closed the doors on, on the wasp, they closed the doors on the waves, they closed the door on, on all the women in the services, and then and, and just dismissed them. Go home, forget you ever did it. Forget you have a mind, you know, just go home and be quiet and make babies and make cookies. 
and um, and that caught us by surprise. It caught me by surprise because all my life I'd seen women flying. I didn't see that this was so bad that I wanted to be a pilot. I knew damn well I was going to be.